There is an acute shortage of user-friendly, decent housing for people in middle and low income brackets in our country. This is a long-standing problem that gets worse with each passing day. It is time to tackle the issue and find a resolution. We're starting with the completion of the many abundant projects dotted around the country. A consortium of local banks has raised $51 million to fund the completion of the social housing units started by the Kufu administration in 2006 at Kufuridua, Tamale, and Ho. The Saglemi housing project started under the last NDC government is also high on our list of priorities this year. The 5,000 units it offers would boost our housing numbers. We're therefore establishing the value for money issues surrounding the project in order to reconcile the number of houses built with the schedule of payments made and accelerate delivery. The 2019 budget made provision for the construction of 200,000 housing units and a database of local and foreign developers that has been created to help make this policy a reality. Land banks have also been secured in several towns across Ghana where factories producing prefabricated building materials can be cited for this huge construction effort. There are many well-intentioned projects that ended up pricing out the low-income earners who are supposed to be their beneficiaries. We're determined to learn the lessons from past projects. The Ministry of Finance is working to launch a 1 billion Ghana CD housing fund that would target low-income earners. Mr. Speaker, government will continue with the other housing projects with the police, armed forces and government workers across the country through agencies like the State Housing Corporation. The most exciting news on the housing landscape, landscape though, is the drafting of plans to regenerate NEMA, which holds the dubious title of being Accra's first slum. It has of course progressed very much since those early days, even if it has been unable to shake off the urban slum title. I'm a proud resident of NEMA myself. And I'm extremely excited that the regeneration plans will not dislodge or dispossess residents, but rather transform NEMA into a well-laid-out residential area with full amenities.